Hello guys. In this video I'm going to talk about cars. More specifically, I will provide some tips on how to be the best at Horizon Super 7 high stakes challenges. I will share the system I developed, which helps me to accomplish best results while doing these challenges. Super 7 and Super 7 high stakes are a series of user created challenges. Players earn prizes including wheel spins, clothing, credits and often cars. After completing 7th challenge you are rewarded with Horizon Backstage Pass. This is how I got Bugatti Devo which was displayed at the intro of this video. Worth to mention, that I usually ending up with 3 wheel spins after completing 6 challenges. High stakes encourages you to keep on playing Super 7 challenges, as the prizes increase, but with the risk that if you fail you lose them all. There are two types of Super 7 challenges, they are Super 7 and Super 7 High Stakes. We are focusing on Super 7 High Stakes in this video. Essentially, the more challenges you complete, the better prizes at the end you get. If you fail to complete the last challenge without collecting rewards before starting doing it, there are no rewards given at all. How do you fail the Super 7 High Stakes you may ask? This happens if you run out of lives at the last challenge, which you get 3 at the start. Always keep an eye on the amount of lives left, leaving the hard challenge before using the last live and claiming the rewards may be a clever decision. Keep in mind that you have 3 chances, that means 3 lives to complete the challenge. All lives used to complete the challenge will be returned after you complete it, if you will. At the start you are given 3 chances to change the challenge, called burns. How do you identify a challenge before clicking on it? In many cases, text does not describe the challenge, so you have to guess what awaits after you enter. For example, I don't understand Chinese, Polish or German and after seeing the challenge description written in any of these languages I'm basing on likes or swell as the number of that challenge. You should do first 3 challenges without checking likes and description. Fourth and fifth challenges you should burn if they doesn't have at least 50% of likes and the deception is unknown. As I mentioned before, sixth and seventh challenges should be started without too much thinking about resources left. Keep in mind that you should take a bigger risk on these two. This is how I make decisions basing on a progress. I do not use any lives and maybe one burn while doing first four challenges. I may be used one live and one or two burns after completing the fifth challenge. For the last two challenges I use everything I still have to complete them. Usually first four challenges are doable without struggle. Fifth and sixth are much harder. Seventh is usually very hard and contains surprises. When to quit you may ask. My recommendation is not to use all three lives after doing 3th challenge. Quit the challenge before it and claim the rewards. Already earned rewards are worth to skip high risk. You see, after completing the third challenge you get will spin, which you don't want to lose. I hope didn't miss anything regarding the topic, but here is a feeling like I did. Anyways, I'm planning to create more videos, so I may mention what I missed. I'm happy with the system I developed for Super 7 high stakes. I find this activity most rewarding in the game. I hope this video will help you. Tell me in comments what is your opinion about the system and share yours if you have created one. I may find an adjustment to the one I'm using now. Consider like and subscribe. Have fun and see you next time.